Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys primarily how to end up getting the imposter basically every single time in Among Us, and I'm also going to be showing you some other side glitches as well. Now, there is one thing I wanted to clarify at the beginning of the video because I don't want there to be any confusion, just because there is something I want to clarify, just so that way I do not mislead you guys whatsoever. Bear with me, this might sound a little bit silly. But if you watch all the way to the end, I promise it will make sense. Fair enough? Okay, sounds fair enough. Basically, I want to let you know is that the title is only worded in the way that it would end up pleasing the YouTube algorithm. What do I mean by this? Well, essentially, the YouTube algorithm has certain key words and key phrases about what people do or do not want to see. So I over-embellish the title a little bit so that way YouTube will promote it better. YouTubers do this all the time, and I'm not trying to mislead you guys by not clarifying this. So, I want to let you know in advance that, yes, I am purposely trying to make the YouTube algorithm in my favor, and this is in terms of the glitch. Basically, I want to clarify that the glitch that you are about to see has a high success rate, but is not a guarantee. I want to be clear about that. The glitch that I will be showing you has a high success rate, but not a guarantee. Basically, you will get a 90 or 90 plus percent of the time to work, but it will not work every single time. I do not want you guys to end up having this video where you watch it and assume that I'm a clickbaiter and get mad at me. So I'm doing my best and trying to be a responsible adult that I am to let you know what I'm exactly doing. So when you watch this video, you'll be happy and satisfied and will be able to end up gaining my trust. So that is one thing I wanted to clarify at the very beginning of the video, just so it was out in the air. That way you guys know that I trust you and that way you can trust me because you guys are my family. Huh, that rhymed. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, I wanted to make that intro for the beginning of the video, and then I will show you guys the actual intro, or basically the original video. Just want to clarify some things up, but yeah guys, I hope you end up enjoying, and I hope this made things clear. I hope you end up having a wonderful day, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out guys. Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of many insane glitches that you can do in Among Us to not only allow you to be able to, as the title suggests, get imposter basically every single time. Now, there is a few things I would like to mention, as always, with all my glitch videos. The very first thing is that simply uh, do this at your own risk. These are indeed glitches, and I do not have a guarantee whether or not you will be protected from bans or resets or anything of the sort. So if you guys end up doing this, just know that you are doing this at your own risk. I just want to be that type of guy and let you know in advance, just so you are clear. The second thing also as well is that if you guys just simply happen to end up enjoying these videos, I tremendously appreciate if you could drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff, because then you can tell YouTube, hey, we like this guy and we want to see more of his content. Then YouTube will be like, oh yeah, they do want to see more of his content. They recommend me more often, and then I can be able to have my videos be shown to more of you guys. You know, for example, if there's a glitch that you want to find and not a lot of people are doing it, you can find my video then. So it's just basically a way you can end up having that happen. And then the last thing also as well is just that the Among Us developers, if you guys just simply do not enjoy the fact that I'm making glitch videos on your game, just simply feel free to hit me up on one of my social medias. They're always linked down below in the description and we can work something out. So now let's segue our way into the glitch. Okay, so now this glitch does exist as far as I'm aware because there is two things I wanted to point out. So that Number one is that this has been covered by other glitching YouTubers, popular ones might I add, such as Glitch King, who has millions of subscribers for doing glitches. I will actually link his exact video about this down below in the description because this might sound a little weird and a little sketchy at first. But just bear with me, and if you don't believe me, you can always check out his video to coincide with mine. But the second thing I also want to mention about this glitch, other than it being sketchy, you might need to end up uh, just bearing with me for a second here. The second thing I also want to mention is that this glitch is not a guarantee. I want to stress that, and I want to make sure that I'm not going to be misleading with you guys. This glitch ups your odds, but it's not a guarantee that you will end up getting the imposter. So I just want to clarify that. Now let's get on with the actual glitch. So essentially the way that this glitch works is that we all know that Among Us, that it feels like forever before you end up getting the imposter, especially if the imposter is only at one compared to two or three, and it feels like that you may or may not never get the imposter. Now, the imposter is obviously the most fun role in Among Us. It's what is the bread and butter, and it's what makes the game fun. 
So when you don't get the imposter, you unfortunately feel the urge to rage quit. You might even have people rage quit at your lobbies when you finally do get imposter. So this will make your odds a little bit higher, so that way it's not as infuriating for when people do in fact leave. What you want to do in order to end up doing this glitch is that in the lobby, when you are at the uh, character customization table, when the countdown starts, you want to immediately s start cycling through the hats. What this does is that it will actually up your chances of the imposter spawn rate. I legitimately do not have any idea why this is the case. It is a glitch. Glitches are obviously problems with the game. But for some odd reason, specifically when you mess around with the hats, the chances of imposter are like almost it's like astronomically higher. I've seen people talk about this. I've seen people do this exact strategy in my lobbies. And it does work, it feels like. It's like skill-based matchmaking where you can't legitimately prove it's there, but you can feel it. it it's it's a, That's the best way I can honestly describe it. You feel that it's working because suddenly luck is in your favor and now you're able to end up being the imposter again. I legitimately can't describe it other than that. So yeah, in summary, essentially what you need to do is when you see the countdown happening... Just cycle through all the hats. It doesn't matter how many hats you pick. I don't believe it matters if you rotate between the same two. I don't believe it's that picky. You just have to rotate between the hats. For some reason, rotating in the hats, I guess, reevaluates the amount of uh, picks that you get towards being the imposter. I, I believe what is happening is that you're messing up the game because by changing your character's look, it's essentially messing up the game's picking or its selection method. That's the best way I can honestly describe it, and there's no other way I can put it other than that. But yeah, guys, in summary, that's basically it. I mean, you can't guarantee a strategy this way. You unfortunately will suffer the fate of still being a crewmate, but your chances are significantly higher, and I hope that this does clear things up for you, and I try to make this as crystal clear as possible. If you have any advice for me for future videos, definitely feel free to let me know, but I thought I would do it in this form of way, just so that way we were clear. So yeah guys, that's basically it for today's video. I truly hope you ended up enjoying, and if you did, as always, I'd tremendously appreciate if you guys could drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff, because once again, you can say to YouTube, hey, we like this guy, we want to see more of his content, and then YouTube will be like, okay, let's recommend his content, because that just seems to honestly be the case for like the last several months or so. Our channel has been growing astronomically, and I am forever grateful for that. Thank you. And if we can keep up the momentum, I would de definitely appreciate it, seriously. Because every single one of you guys matters to me, and every guy one of you guys counts towards that eventual YouTube threshold mark where essentially there's no going back, and we're basically on the roads to being a successful YouTube channel, and I can essentially make this my living, and I would be forever grateful for that. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it in summary. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these glitches. And if you did, just once again, one last time, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And feel free to let me know if there's any glitch in particular that you guys would like to see in the future. And I hope you guys end up having a wonderful day. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed another YouTube video from the most unique YouTuber you were ever going to see. Peace out, guys.